Hey y'all, this is Kat. Welcome to our new show, Break Talk with Kat and Kenny. Okay, hey y'all. My name is Kat. I am welcoming Kenny Lee to the show. And he about to talk to y'all about some violence and stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and let him talk. So, how you doing, Kenny? I'm doing fine, Kat. Welcome to Break Talk. You know... With all the crime that's going on in this city, Cat, I don't understand. The message is simple. Put the guns down. That's all they have to do is stop the killing today. I don't understand. It's like if, if, you, if you're if in the car and they want to do road rage. That's why I don't drive on the interstates anymore. I am afraid to drive on the interstates in this city. And it shouldn't be like that. They're killing people for no reason, killing people at the gas station. You know, they need to stop the killing. You know, the fact that the governor passed a law where everybody can have a gun, I think that's just ridiculous. Do you have a gun? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know everybody can have one now. Yeah, I know, but no, I rather not use a gun because back then our mother taught us how to fight with our hands. Oh, okay. And so, not use guns. Right, so let me put them guns down. Yes, because if you into an argument and you throw your gun up and, and shoot that person dead, that's, that's a... Murder she wrote? Yes. Because you know they're not coming back. No. And then you will end up having life in prison with a gun. So that's why you should just put the guns down and fight like a man. Ooh. Yeah. We was all taught to fight like a man. Well, not fight, because some people fight like girls. Or wusses. <laughs> <laughs> but they need to learn how to fight with their hands. You know, like you said, fight like a man, because it makes no sense. I think the fact that people fail to realize that when you take somebody's life, they're not coming back. That's the sad part about it. You, you take their lives, and, and they're not coming back. I mean, I think that's just... Absolutely ridiculous. And Memphis didn't used to be like that, as you know, Kat. You know, but when you look at the news, Kat, and you see all of the killing, what do you think about the killing when you when you turn your TV on to the news and you see somebody got shot, somebody got murdered? What do you think? Uh, I would like, mm -mm, I would like, every time I watch the news, you see people getting found in the back of the gas station. You see mm. people getting found in ditches. You see people dead on railroad tracks. You see everybody dead. Like, every time you turn the news on, you see somebody either dead. Mm -hmm. So, when I got I got tired of, I just got tired of it. I, I had quit watching the news, but I still watch my back, though, because I know uh, it's, it's a lot of killing going on in Memphis. And so, I watch my back every, every five minutes, every while I go. Make sure I know about sneaking up on me, trying to kill me or shoot me with a gun or something like that. So, yeah, that's why when you see me with my eyes booked. <laughs> just He's watching. Yes. Can't say just know I'm watching. Yeah, just know I'm watching. My eyes be wide open. Wide open. <laughs> Kiss it wide open. Y'all, I am the one and only Kitty Lee for Break Talk, y'all. My cat is in the building, y'all. That's, that's my girl, y'all. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. No matter what, cat going to always be my girl, y'all. We're doing this new show, Break Talk, y'all. And, and, you know, we're talking about crime. And you're just tuning in. You're tuning in with cat and... Kenny Lee. That's right, child. So that's how we do it, child. Again, you all. So we're sitting here and we're talking about Break Talk. But the bottom line is, you all, put the guns down. The message is simple. The message is clear. It does not make you a man or a woman to, uh, because you got a gun. I, I mean, it, it does not uh, make you better than anybody. You know, uh, I know a lot of times people think, well, you know, if I got a gun, I, you know. And, and I know people got to protect themselves, especially when you got people who are doing home invasion and stuff like that. Can't, I know they got to protect themselves. But it's a way to do everything. Um, we was just out at a, a stop like, and kill it. Go ahead. Yeah, like you only, hold, you only carry a gun. Like if, if anybody, like... Like, oh no. I guess it's about invading your private space or trying to harm you, you know. Yeah, only time you 
hold the gun is when somebody trying to evade you or walk you or something, you got the right to shoot them. But going up to somebody, talking about some, yeah, nigga, what this shit you talking about? Then you put your gun out and shoot them. That's not how you do it. That's just not how you do it. I think a lot of stuff, a lot of people's lives would be saved if they would just talk about it. You know, hey, look, you stepped on my shoes or hey, you know, you ran the red light. You, it's, it, you don't care. I was in traffic and they, somebody had a wreck and and, and I was four cars behind and by the time I could get up there to see what was going on, the folks was already fighting and pulling guns. Yeah. I mean, you know, when do we get, anytime we get to where somebody mess up your order in a McDonald's line, a Burger King line, and you pull a gun on somebody. You'll put a gun out at, a, at, a, uh, at the person at the window and kill like shoot and kill them at the window, you're gonna be going to jail for life. You don't want to see your whole life mm -hmm. killing a person. So now, when you shoot somebody, you're gonna be in jail for the rest of your life. You ain't gonna be able to do shit. But be in jail, looking at the inmates, eating their nasty ass food Ooh. and stuff like that. You can't get, you can't even go clubbing. You can't go driving. You can't do nothing when you're in jail. So. That's why y'all should put the guns down. If y'all don't want to do life in prison, put the guns down. Please. Put them down. Y'all heard it. Cat couldn't have said it no better, you all. Put the guns down. I know, you know, we laugh and we joke a lot, you all, but we want the crime to stop in this city. And so together we can do it. Together we can make a difference. Together we can make a change. But we in tour with each other and people are fighting and kind of going back and forth. You know, when will it stop? You know, at one point I know the gangs, at one point I know that the gangs were kind of taking over. But now it's almost like nobody's worried about the gang. Everybody, it's like it's almost you're excited to have a gun. Yeah, I never heard I mean, like that. So ever since they put the law about people can have guns now, I still haven't when they get no gun. I I don't care how much trouble I be in, I don't give a damn how much argument I be in, I'm not going to buy a gun because I do not want to waste my life in prison. Mm. Y'all hear this, y'all. Kenny Lee and Catch Y'all Break Talk. We'll be back with more and another subject. I'm telling you all, let's just put the guns down. Uh, we're going to wrap this up, y'all. But again, you all, thank you all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Kenny, can't any shout outs? Look, I called you Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Kenny Kemp. Shout out to Moo Crew. And shout out to Barca uh, for making this happen for us. Um, and shout out to. Everybody. Look, look Shout out to everybody. So. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.